So guys, we had a bit of a situation between episodes, and unfortunately, I don't have the footage to show you exactly what happened. And I'm going to do my best to explain exactly what happened and catch you guys up and get you up to speed. Now, first of all, guys, apologies that I don't have the footage for this. Uh, essentially, in the last episode, we did end up having a really good Ascendant Sarko saddle, but we needed about 5,000 hide in order to make it. And I pretty much said, well, between episodes, I'll kind of take the Raptor pack out. We'll attack everything on the island eventually we'll get that 5,000 hide. And when it comes to longer grindy sessions like that, guys, I don't usually record that because nothing usually happens. It's usually just, let me just kind of get this done. Let me get it over with. It's going to take a while. It is what it is. I kind of end up usually putting on a Neebs Gaming Supercut or something like that and kind of just get it over with, if you will, right? And, um, well, unfortunately, something did happen this time. And, of, of course, it was my stupidity and my fault. Uh, but long story short, took the Raptor pack out, started killing pretty much everything and anything on the island here and doing pretty well by about 30, 45 minutes into the little grindy sesh. Uh, we had about 800 to 1,000 hides, so we were actually looking pretty good to get this done relatively quickly. And then I made the mistake of going after an Alpha Rex. And this Alpha Rex was level 20. And again, I kind of thought, eh, no big deal. It's an Alpha Rex, level 20. They should be able to take him out, no problem. And then I realized I had the Paleo mod on, which means this wasn't just an Alpha Rex. This was an Alpha Tyrannosaurus Rex, which is part of the Paleo mod. Oh, that thing hits like a truck. Um... Long story short, the Raptor pack is pretty much dead. Uh, the only one that has survived is, of course, Nexus. So Nexus is right over here and everything. But guys, I mean, this Alpha Rex, mind you, it's a level 20. It's just a level 20. So that's why I thought, eh, they'll be able to take it on. No big deal, because usually an Alpha T-Rex, like a vanilla one at level 20, eh, you know, it hits a little bit, but it's easy to take on, you know? These things got wiped. I mean, it was like five or six shots the Alpha T-Rex took and, or the Alpha Tyrannosaurus rather, and Gamma and Delta just went down like nothing. And then literally a couple bites later, Alpha and Beta went, and then pretty much I was just on the run. And this thing has a really far aggro range. So it literally followed me to the ends of the earth. But ultimately I was able to kind of sneak around a few other dinos and have it kind of get distracted with those. And we were able to get back to base safe and sound. But unfortunately, Nexus is the only one left. And I was really happy to keep Nexus. But guys, unfortunately, rest in peace, Alpha Pack. Ah, uh, yeah, no. Oh my god, they got wiped. Now, obviously, guys, with that happening between the episodes, I have not had the chance to get the rest of the... Where's the Argent again? Uh, oh, I just passed it right over here. I haven't had a chance to make the saddle or anything. We are still way off. Uh, I need about 4,000 more hides, so uh, hopefully by next episode, I'll have it done. It's just a matter of... What dino were we going to use to actually get the hide? I'm not entirely sure at this point, but I guess uh, we'll figure that out in due time. Now, for today's episode, guys, uh, I do want to go out and get myself some more utility tames. Because at this point, we do have... We do have the, um, we have the Castroides. Uh, sorry, we don't have the Castroides. That's kind of what I was planning on doing today. Wonderful. Just told you guys. Uh, so we already had the Anki. Uh, we do not have a Dodicarus, which I definitely want to get a Dodicarus in today's episode. And obviously for the Wood Gatherer, uh, we have gotten a couple of Mammoth Saddles here and there, but getting a Mammoth back here is going to be nearly impossible, guys. So I think going for a Castroides might just be a little bit better for us. Now, I could bring out the Sarko today, but of course, trying to like get the Castroides back and getting the Dodicris back, it's just that much easier to just use the Argent. So we're going to go out on Maverick today. I don't know if any of you eagle-eyed viewers did end up seeing our Sarko. Uh, I went ahead and named it. I named it Sarko Polo. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh my god, that's a, uh, that's a Gigantoraptor. Ooh, I just saw the colors out of nowhere. I love the colors. It's like a per yeah, look at the okay. Like look at the colors on this thing. Let's see if I can get it kind of just reminded me of like a peacock tail. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that looks so cool. That's all I saw and I was just like, "Oh god, what is that?" Um cool. We got a 95. Uh by the way, to catch you guys up too, uh I have looked. Uh the Theri is still there, the 150, so we will get that eventually. I know I keep saying that. It'll be like 20 more episodes in and we still won't have this freaking Theri. Uh but it is over here, the Theri 150. Oh god, the problem is what about the Alpha Rex? The Alpha Rex could very well take it on now. <gasps> 
Shoot. I think we'll be okay, but I do want to show off this Alpha Rex because, you know, stupid me enough is kind of like, yeah, let's take on the Alpha Rex. And then I get up to it and I'm like, this one looks kind of different than the other Rexes. And then, of course, um, yeah, the reason is, I swear to God, if you're not here, I'm going to be so pissed. Where the hell are you, Alpha Rex? Oh, my God. All these Brontos are spawning in. Come on. No. <laughs> Don't make me look like a liar game. Come on. Um, oh, yeah. I could pull up the uh, log to show you guys exactly what happened. But where the hell is the Alpha Rex? Oh, it's right there. Look at the size of that thing, too. Like, this thing at first, you know, kind of seeing all, I'm like, oh, okay. For a second, I thought it was a Giga, you know? And then I kind of looked, and I'm like, Alpha T-Rex. I'm like, oh, okay. Didn't think much of it, but then I just see the damage numbers. This thing was hitting us for, like, 230 damage apiece, and, yeah, this thing is nuts, guys. This thing is insane. So, we're not going to bother with that anymore. Rest in peace, Ralph uh, Raptor Pack. Uh, we may do something with them in the future. I probably will go ahead and um, rebreed them and all that kind of stuff, because maybe they'll be good for caves and all that. But uh, yeah, now we have a ton of Brontos. So this is kind of... Ooh, we have a new Ferry. That's not the 150. Oh, it's a 135 female. Sweet. Okay. Uh, the 150 was over here. Oh, yeah. There you are. Okay. So you're still here. Okay. <laughs> you're still here. Okay. Wonderful. Um... Speaking of which, we probably do have to tame that relatively soon. I know I keep saying that, but we probably do have to tame that really soon because with the Brontos and all this stuff coming in, this just honestly respawned in because that Alpha Rex was actually linked up with like two Aloes. And I mean, they just, oh, they just destroyed that area. So yeah, we may have to start looking into that theory relatively soon. Uh, words that I have spoken uh, many times in this series so far and have yet done nothing about it. Uh, anyways... We're going to head over probably to where the Castroides are. Uh, we'll probably start out with that. I think that's a lot easier to deal with. I do see that yellow drop. I did see that yellow drop. I guess it went away. I don't know. Or maybe it's tucked behind there or something. Maybe I'm just not seeing it now. I could have sworn we just saw a yellow drop. Maybe it did go away. Um, but yeah, I think it's just going to be a little bit easier to start out with. Let's just go straight for the Castroides. We'll also need a little bit of cementing paste because in order to make the Castroides saddle... I think you need cementing paste. I'm pretty sure you do. So we'll figure that out. But uh, yeah, so it's been a pretty interesting between the episodes. And guys, apologies too, like that I can't record every single thing. Because again, I only have limited space on my laptop. That's kind of what holds um, all the footage and everything. I can only hold a certain amount. And it, believe me, the episodes get pretty, pretty heavy in the gigs department let me tell you each episode is usually um six seven gigs something like it's absolutely crazy honestly so um apologies i can't record everything is kind of what i'm getting at the yellow drop is right over there right yeah okay i see a little bit of yellow light let's head that way i will say the fog is kind of interesting because like i saw the yellow drop but then all of a sudden nothing didn't see it at all and now we're gonna get over there and it's gonna be gone it's gonna make it look like I'm like absolutely crazy right now. Um, no, that yellow drop's still there. Okay, as long as I kind of stay at an angle. Yeah, okay. We'll just keep going towards the yellow beam of light and hopefully we'll be able to get our stuff there. And uh, yeah, we'll see what it has. But maybe, maybe, just maybe, this yellow drop will have a Dodicra saddle and maybe a Castroidy saddle. Let's see what happens. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of hope this does not have a Dodicra and a Castroidy saddle in here. Because I know I'm going to get comments saying like, oh, you spawned it in. <laughs> I know that bug's going to attack us. It's fine. It is what it is. Okay, let's go. All right, let's see. What do we got in here? Uh, we ended up getting you. No, we get you. No. Uh, primitive flak gauntlets. No, we have our good gauntlets. No, uh, we have a lamppost. Maybe I use the lamppost. And now nah, we can always make that. Let's get rid of you. Uh, let's get rid of you and let's get rid of you. And then we're just going to put the organic poly inside of the Argent. There we go. Perfect. By the way, I have still everything on the, uh, Argent at this point in order to make the saddle. Hopefully we can get that done today or relatively soon. We'll have to see what happens. But, um, like I said, we're going to go for Castroides first. I just saw that little waterfall and went, Ooh, waterfall. Uh, we need to head over in this direction, I believe, in order to find the Castroides. These are the ones that we kind of saw in the last episode and everything. Uh, I'm looking for a 140 plus. I would prefer a 150 because we've kind of been in that like, 
you know, that whole thing of getting a 150 Sarko. We got a 150. Did we get a 150 Sarko last episode or was it a 145? It was a 150 because I ended up at 223. Uh, we ended up getting a 150 Iguanodon, which, by the way, guys, it is back at base now. I did end up dropping it off. Uh, so let's just kind of continue the trend here. Let's see if we can get ourselves a 150 Castroides. And then after that, I don't know where Dodicruses are. Uh, we'll have to figure that out. I might have to go back to base now that I think about it because I feel like they're in the the Tundra area, like where we tame the Yankee. Ah, shoot. And we're going to need the fur armor. We're going to need all that. Ugh. All right. We'll see what happens. But let's focus on the Castroides first, which right over here is one of the ponds. We've been seeing some pretty good levels, honestly. We've seen, what, 140s? We've seen 135s. Let's see if we can find a 150 here. Now, where is a Beaver Dam? Beaver Dams just make it so much easier just to pull all these guys out. You know what I mean? Um, we do have a Ferry over here, so we got to keep you in my... Oh, God, you're a 140. Jesus. Gotta love the custom maps, guys. I mean, seriously. Uh, nope, that's a rock. All right. We do have a beaver dam here. I'm gonna kind of grab you and go. Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme, me, 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 me. Drop, 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 drop. Okay. Maverick, get up. And we'll go right here for now. I just... Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What level are you guys... 150. Holy crap. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> All right, we got a 150. Sweet. I don't even have to look at the other one, guys. Uh, what we're going to do is I think we're going to basically just take this all the way back home, and then we're just going to knock it out there. I think it's just so much easier doing that way. So, well, that was easy. Uh, we're definitely going to go back and get ourselves the other, uh, the other beaver dam, because, I mean, why not? Let's grab a little more cementing paste. But... I gotta say, the colors on this guy are kind of interesting, right? It's like, it's like almost albino. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's get this thing back to base. 150 right off the bat. It did have a kid, interestingly enough. But, well, unfortunately, uh, yeah, there's gonna be an orphan somewhere on this island. Oh, no. I'm coming in from the other direction now just to see about that Gigantoraptor. Oh! <gasps> No! It finally went away! No! Oh, wait, no, it's still here. Okay, it's still here. Oh, thank God. Okay, awesome. Oh, man, that gave me a little bit of a heart attack. That would have been horrible if, after all this time, that Gigantoraptor was going to be gone. Oh, my God. Well, we have a 150 beaver. Awesome. Uh, you know what? I'm kind of realizing on my way home here that we have haven't set up a trap or anything. So, I'm really hoping this thing is de-aggroed at this point. I think it has... But I'm going to kind of just drop it over here, and I hope I just have... Maybe I don't have necessarily the materials, but, like, something. Let's see. If I drop you here, what are you going to do? Are you going to follow me, or are you just going to... Okay, you're just going to hang out. Sweet. Okay, that actually might be perfect. I'm really hoping this thing doesn't, like, de-aggro or anything like that. No, it's just kind of walking around. Okay. Um, let's see. Did I keep the previous trap or not? <gasps> I didn't. Shoot, I have the Argent Trap. That's... That could work. That actually could work. Right? This isn't gonna work. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do it this way. Uh, let's bring it over here. Kind of just do this. Uh, I need to disable snapping. It's so silly that I'm doing it this way, but it's fine. I can get through here. The beaver certainly can't. At least I hope not. I guess we'll find out the hard way. Where did the beaver go? We left it here for two seconds. This thing did not despawn. You're shitting me, right? Oh, no, it's right here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Passive. Yeah, ma'am. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Come on. Tell me you're able to get through that little... But... 
All right, I guess attempt number two. Come on. Hey, there we go. <laughs> That's how you use an Argent Trap to knock this thing out. There we go. All right. Uh, we have nine total Trank arrows left, so I'm going to use those first, and then we'll switch back over to the Primitive. Uh, but, yeah, we should be looking pretty good here. I know its health is relatively low, so we definitely got to watch out for that. Another thing, too, is their unconscious level drops so quickly. So that's another thing that we got to keep in mind. I was hoping headshots would be a thing, but maybe not. Yeah, maybe you can't get a headshot with them. I feel like... I feel like you're starting to go on the run, right? There we go. And you're out. Sweet. Now, did I screw this up or are we good? Are we looking at a perfect team or not? Okay, we are looking at a perfect team. Awesome. Now, like I said, their unconscious drops really quickly. Now, good news is, guys, I have prepared a little bit. Not too much, but I have prepared a little bit. I do actually have narcotics ready to go. And I will mention to you guys, I had zero intention of using it for the Castroides. I actually was going to be using it for... Uh, for more uh, uh, the, the, the Trank darts, that kind of thing. But we have 50 here. Sounds good. I could also go out with the Iguanodon, which was, which is probably what we should do, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Let's use... Why am I going to waste these? I might as well just use Narco Berries. Uh, by the way, in the last episode, this was the 150 that we tamed. Uh, it ended up losing a couple of levels. Its current level is 219. 219, yeah. Uh, so let's see how this thing does when it comes to harvesting compared to its previous counterpart. Uh, it gets a decent amount, a little bit better. And that's just because of that increased melee and stuff like that. But yeah, I think we're just going to kind of wait with the Iguanodon until we get a male 150. Uh, again, it's going to be kind of one of those things, just like with this one, where we spot it and go, ooh, let's get it. You know, I'm not going to... I'm not going to go crazy or anything trying to look for a 150 Iguanodon. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't, you know? So let's go ahead and get all this stuff. Plus, that added weight is certainly nice when it comes to gathering all these berries. But yeah, I'm going to kind of backtrack here. Uh, I am not going to be using the narcotics. I'll just keep using narco berries. I really hope this Castroides does not go into the ground and mesh. Uh, because certainly we had that in the Argent episode. And I really don't want that here. By the way, I like the colors on this Iguanodon too. Kind of like what I mentioned with the Sarko. I like when they get their natural colors and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong. I like the silly colors sometimes. Certain dinos it works with. Certain dinos it doesn't. I feel like the Iguanodon, this looks nice. This looks really, really nice. Uh, now, I will say that like RNG spots that are kind of on the side of it. If those were bright, that would be cool. It kind of gives it a little bit of like an aberrant vibe, you know, but look at like the texture and the details. Oh my God, like a look at the eye. <laughs> I can't go too far, too much further. And I guess I could in photo mode, but like that looks nice. This looks really nice, honestly. But anyways, let's keep gathering berries here. Obviously this uh, Castroides is losing Torpor left and right. Now, of course, we could just let it wake up and then re-knock it out and everything, but, like, why? We might as well just feed it a ton of friggin' narcos and call it a day. I mean, look at this. Getting so many damn berries here. Let's throw this into the Castroides. Now, I don't know what we're going to call the Castroides. Uh, it's certainly not going to be vulgar or anything like that. I know certain people out there, um, not naming names or anything. Nobody's, everybody's been really good with the name suggestions and stuff so far. But I know somebody's going to say something, uh, especially with the Castroides. But I don't know if we're going to end up naming it. Maybe we'll just keep it Castroides just to uh, keep it clean on the channel, if you will. Uh, but I like the name Sarco Polo. It's like, eh, dad joke without the kid. You know what I mean? I don't know. But anyways... Uh, we got 48 more. We'll throw that into the Castroides, too, and then we'll go from there. But, 
Yeah, so how this is going to work, if you guys haven't ever tamed a Castoroides, uh, their unconscious level drops really quickly. So essentially, we're going to wait until it gets pretty low, probably 500 or less. We're going to start feeding it all these Narcos. It's slowly going to increase the Torpor all over again, and uh, eventually we'll feed it. I'll have to look at Dodo decks and see how long this process is going to be. I do find it funny that it shows the parental symbol. Will that kid work its way all the way over here? I'm curious to see if that happens or not. I doubt it. But uh, it would be kind of funny if, like, we get back to base at some point and literally there's just a kid here with the Castroides. <laughs> oh, man. We'll have to see what happens, of course. But uh, another thing, like I mentioned, that I do want to do in this episode after we get the Castroides, of course, is the Dodicarus. Uh So at that point, we will have our Wood Gatherer. We will have our Stone Gatherer. And, of course, we currently have the Metal Gatherer, which, by the way, I haven't named the Enki yet. Um... <laughs> I do have a name. I'm kind of on the fence with using it, but like, not that it's bad or anything. It's just kind of going into that whole dad joke thing again. But uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll end up calling it uh, what I kind of want to call it. I know what people are going to say. It's your series. Do whatever the hell you want. But I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I'm not usually, if you guys have watched the channel for a while, you guys know I'm not really good when it comes to the names and stuff like that. And I make a lot of promises at the beginning of series, like, hey, I'm going to name every creature. And after like the third creature, I'm like, all right, I give up on names. You guys figure it out. <laughs> so I guess maybe if any time I come up with a natural name, I'm just going to give it the name. So speaking of which, yeah, screw it. You know what? Whatever. Let's go with the let's go with the cheesy name. All right. So we got Sarko Polo over there and we have Ank the Tank Williams. Yes, I like the name. Let it be, guys. I like the name. <laughs> so stupid. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're just going to be hanging out waiting for the Castroides at this point. Uh, anything else I need to update you guys on with the base? Not really. I do definitely want to do a little bit of base construction. Uh, we probably will be dedicating an episode to it because it seemed like you guys really did enjoy the base building episode. So I think when I'm looking to make a couple of changes here and there, and a couple of them will be incoming soon, or additions rather, not necessarily changes, uh, we'll dedicate an episode to it because there are a couple things that I do want to do one of them is mod related but we'll talk about that when we get into it but at this point guys we have 300 600 812 metal we're looking pretty good there um storage is going to be a big thing i do need to kind of figure out how to get better storage whether we go into vaults that means or whether we just try to add a little bit more just just more storage somewhere i'm not entirely sure but I don't know. We'll figure it out. I do like my less is more concept when it comes to the storage and everything like that, because things do get a little bit crazy inside your base. I don't know. Maybe we'll make like a shed outside, which will literally just be lined with storage. <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I do have a couple of additions coming in the future. So if you guys like building, if you guys like those kind of building episodes, uh, stay tuned. Coming soon to a uh, computer screen near you or whatever you're watching this video on. All right, guys, so I'm feeling a little risky here. I know I mentioned that at 500 Torpor, I was going to start feeding it. I'm actually waiting until it's under 100 Torpor, which I know is a little risky, uh, but I think we can get this done. So here we go. Right when it hits under 100, let's go. Let's just start feeding. So you will see that the numbers are going to start going up and then back down, up, down, up, down, just because it's naturally... That Torpor is going to drop relatively quickly. But the good news with this is, essentially what it's going to do is, the Torpor is slowly going to start increasing back up because of the amount of Narco Berries it's going to give. So it is going to take a really long time for that bar naturally to fill back up and then obviously work its way back down. So if you guys aren't familiar with this whole kind of idea of taming and everything, well, here you go. And some creatures, it's necessary. Some creatures, you have to do this for or else it's just going to naturally wake up, as you guys would have seen here. I mean, we're only, what is that, 200 and change down in food, and that's certainly not enough in order to feed this thing. So we may even have to do this a second round, if I'm going to be honest. But it's obviously going to take a little time. I don't know how long it's going to honestly take. I haven't checked Dodo decks yet, which I will probably in the next few minutes. But yeah, nevertheless... Uh, yeah, we're just going to kind of sit back, relax, and watch this Torpor build up, and then hopefully we can feed it relatively soon. And there we 
go. Castroides is ours. Uh, I'd ended up losing a total of two levels, but not too shabby there. Uh, guys, I did end up having to feed it a decent amount of narcotics, so it is actually going to be continuously gaining torpor. I don't think it's going to knock out or anything, but you will see the torpor still slowly rising and everything. But looking at the total stats, we have 3960 in health, 936 stam, 522 in weight, and 264 melee which i'm gonna be honest on a castroides i mean really what we're looking for it's kind of similar to the anki which is uh yeah pretty much weight specifically i don't think we're really gonna be using it for anything else besides uh just gathering wood and stuff for us so let's go ahead and make the let's go ahead and make oh god we have something fighting over here everybody go in screw it just everybody go in all right um, I'm okay with having to, like, r shuffle everybody around, but, yeah, that thing came out of nowhere. I have not seen anything around here. Thank God it was only a level 20, honestly. I'm assuming it probably fell from down there. No, I don't know. Maybe it did. I don't know. Now I'm kind of looking at this, and I'm kind of regretting sending everybody over. <laughs> I just saw the 54 damage and was like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, no, you took half health. Jesus. Okay, well, anyways, guys, uh, let me go ahead and get the saddle for the Castroides. I think we're going to... Oh, no, he's just kind of hanging out there because... Did he knock out? No, he's still there, right? He's fine. Yeah, he's fine. Okay. I think we have to... Oh, yeah, the Dodos wanted to get involved. Oh, my God. Let's throw them back in their little corner here. And then we'll get back inside the house. Yeah, I kind of realized, too, guys, that... Yeah, we're probably not going to be using the dodos for too much. I feel like at this point in the series, I should have done this a while ago. Maybe we'll start getting into kibble, but uh, I might just wait till we get ourselves like a Uteranus or something like that, just so we have special kibble, uh, whatever the heck it's called. Extraordinary, exceptional, whatever the category is. But anyways, um, we need to make the Castroidy saddle. And the first thing we need to do is we got to unlock it. So I think it's down at level 61, 62, somewhere around there. So let's go ahead and unlock it first. Then we kind of can figure out what we need. So it's at level 61. Uh, do you make it in the smithy? Perfect. All right. Do we have all the resources in order to make it? We do not. What do we need? We need hide and fiber. <laughs> uh, all right, fine. Uh, well, we can get the fiber relatively. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to pull it off of the Argent. It's fine. Where the heck is Maverick? Uh, Maverick's over there. Everybody else is kind of just bundled up. Uh... I'll probably take a few minutes and take care of that. But for right now, guys, I'm just going to kind of leave them be. What do we need? 260. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a trike. Okay. Whew. All right. Didn't know what I was seeing there. Anyways, I guess we'll take 400 and we'll take 600 because I can't remember how much we need. So uh, we got a Dillo. Let's just get rid of you. Nope. <sighs> All right. Anyways, let's go ahead and make the saddle. All right. And there we go. Castroidy saddle is going to be made. We do need a little bit of water. Let's. Oh, shoot. I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> Hopefully, everybody's still hanging out. Okay. Anyways. Uh, there's the saddle. Perfect. Let's throw that on the back of the Castroides. Now, of course, guys, you all know if you've watched the channel for a bit, uh, you know that I like using the Mammoth the best. Uh, personally, I really like as a wood gatherer. The Mammoth is really good, especially with the reduced weight and stuff, but this guy's pretty good too. Not gonna lie. Oh god, is that Torpor still rising? That Torpor is still rising. This thing may end up knocking out. <laughs> but, of course, kind of similar to the Sarko and everything, it's really quick in the water. So definitely want to be using this guy if we can. But um, it does get a weight reduction when it comes to wood. I don't believe it's the same as the Mammoth. The Mammoth is 75% weight reduction, I believe. I think these guys are 50, maybe 65. Let's find out real quick and see. All right, so there we go, 136, and that dropped down to 25 that might be the same as the mammoth. Huh. Interesting. All right, but anyways, 
Uh, we got ourselves a Castroid. He's absolutely awesome. I'm going to kind of put this guy away. I'm going to shuffle everybody around, and then we'll head out and get ourselves a Dodicris. Uh, we'll have to make the saddle, of course, but I think we're going to kind of do what we did with the uh, Castroids here. We basically just brought it back to base. We'll knock it out here. We'll do the whole nine. Uh, but let me get everybody kind of all <laughs> reset up and out of this little uh, clusterfuck here. So I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes. All right, guys, so we're currently on our way to the coal region to try to find ourselves a Dodicarus, but I did see this yellow drop, so I want to see if we can get our hands on it. Uh, we've actually gotten this drop a couple of times, like in this specific location. It's usually been relatively safe, and we've usually gotten some pretty good stuff. So, um, well, I'll take you, you, you. I don't need this stuff, no. I don't need building stuff. I would rather just build stuff and uh, get the XP myself specifically, but... Well, you can't win them all. Uh, let's get back to Maverick and let's head up north. But yeah, I have noticed a couple of decent creatures on the way too. So definitely keeping those in the back of my mind for future episodes. But yeah, I got to say this map, you always find a high level dino. I mean, honestly, it's absolutely crazy. But anyways, uh, yeah, we're about halfway to the coal biome. Uh, I have one ahead or the tundra rather. I have one ahead and brought... Uh, for armor just in case we're pretty much just gonna head straight through i think that's kind of where we traditionally get that's where we ended up finding the sarco and then we kind of tamed the anki on the opposite side of it but yeah i think the tundra biome is gonna work out for us uh to find some dodicruses so let's get on over there let's see what happens and i do see a purple drop so i'll probably meet you guys at the purple drop all right, here we go. We got ourselves a purple drop. Let's see. Uh, I will take you. I will throw you out. I will throw you. You. I will take you. Take you. Take you. All right. Not too bad. I got to say, I am liking the variety in the drops and stuff. I feel like we never really had that. And of course, uh, I noticed that on the island in the Scorched Earth series specifically. I do feel like we get a lot more variety when we come to the drop. Okay, so it's just a T-Rex. Okay, sounds good. Uh, but anyways, yeah, we'll definitely take a look around this area. I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure if Dodicruses are up here, but, you know, we might as well take a look and check. I feel like this would be the region we would find them in, uh, whether they're going to be down there, whether they're going to be uh, over on the other side of this kind of tundra area, kind of near the uh, river slash penguin alley or whatever we want to call it not entirely sure uh but hopefully we find one relatively quickly and hopefully we find one uh at a decent level but uh yeah just gonna be searching around here for a bit i'm gonna be looking for mammoths of course i know we literally just got the castroides but i mean always looking for a good mammoth mammoths are definitely one of my favorite arc teams specifically so yeah whenever we find a high level you know i'm gonna want to tame it at some point all right guys we got a red drop Let's see what we got. All right. We'll kind of take everything and figure it out. I did see a pack of wolves when I was landing, so let's just get back up in the air and figure this out. Okay, so we ended up getting advanced rifle bullets, broth of enlightenment, um, electronics, <laughs> polymer. I think the mind wipe tonic was from this previous one. Uh, we ended up getting focal chili, which helps with... Uh, Okay, so that has nothing to do with heat. We'll just get rid of you. And we ended up getting two primitive riot boots, 128 and 146. 148 durability and 139. I'm actually going to get rid of both of them. I, I really don't want that. Uh, but yeah, no luck with Dodecris is over here. We're going to kind of continue over to the other side. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there and we'll figure this out, guys. Hmm. Now, is this a cave like... An, okay, it's an artifact cave. <laughs> okay, uh, follow me real quick. Let's kind of get out of here. Probably shouldn't have done this because there's a Rex in the area. All right, let's go. By the way, let's see what level the Rex is. Ooh, it was a 130. Nice. But yeah, uh, if you guys are curious, that is roughly at 21.2, 26.3. All right, guys, so I've been having a tough time finding Dodicruses, and apparently they spawn in the Redwoods. Uh, so I've been looking around the Redwoods here. I have actually come across a couple of Dodicruses. I'm going to be honest, the best level I've come across is a level 85, which personally isn't good enough. We're going to keep searching, but I did want to bring you guys back because 
I think I found a pretty cool base location, and I'm curious if any of you guys have built here, and you can kind of let me know if you guys like this spot or not. So, looking at the map, we are at roughly 82 latitude, 29.4 longitude, and the biggest landmark that you're looking for is probably this massive waterfall, honestly. And I gotta say, the area is pretty cool. The only thing that I'm a little upset about is the fact that... This fog is just always here, which really stinks because once you get yourself out of the fog, this area looks gorgeous. But yeah, that is one thing to consider if you are going to be looking in this area. Um, the one thing that I noticed right away was actually this. This fallen tree is like it has a little path so you can actually go into the tree and we're going to go straight back down to the area that we were just were. And the reason why I like this area it's actually relatively flat, and I gotta say, it's not a huge spot, but you could do a little bit here and there with it. And I'm gonna kind of show off kind of what I would do with this base. And again, guys, you can let me know if you built here before and let me know exactly uh, what you think. But I would probably go ahead and put a small little base up here, nothing too crazy. I would assume this would be an outpost. You wouldn't make this like a main base location or anything like that. But you do have enough space up here where you can make a little like log cabin or something like that. It seems like there's just this natural dip right here, which is probably where I would put my staircase to kind of just get back down to this main level. And then down here, I would either put like maybe a little bit of dino storage, maybe go ahead and put a couple of like little buildings here, maybe one for the greenhouse, one for, um, I don't know, maybe like your smithy or forge you'll put in a separate building or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but I don't know. I'm kind of intrigued about this area. So I may do something here in the future. Uh, but guys, let me know if you've actually built here before and let me know how you like it. Cause I gotta say the area looks really nice. Now I haven't looked around the area enough for resources and stuff, but I mean, we have water down there. It would be kind of interesting to kind of figure out how you're going to get your water all the way up here. But I guess you could use the Bob's Tall Tales water reservoir if you did buy into Bob's Tall Tales. I certainly did, so that is something that I could probably use and take advantage of, but I really like this because you could kind of take your dinos out here and corral them up this way, and this is how you'd kind of get out into the Redwoods if you don't necessarily want to use a flyer or anything. Um, and yeah, this path basically just brings you straight into the Redwoods. You have this direction, and then you have uh, that direction, and I'm pretty sure down here, now I could be wrong, uh, by the the way, this is the 85 Dodecris that I saw a little bit earlier. Uh, not going to be good enough for us, but at the same time, hey, Dodecrises are around, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm just going to kind of knock you off the cliff because I really don't want you here. Come on. Come on. I'm right here. Come on. I think you went off the cliff now, didn't you? Yes, you did. Okay. Let's have a quick look over here just to confirm. So, no. Uh, that's a Microraptor. Interesting. So... This path kind of ends here, which I guess you could utilize with the base too. Just keep in mind, you do have drops that show up over here. So I guess kind of keep that in mind, but I don't know. I kind of like this spot. Let me know guys, if you like the spot, let me know if you've actually built anything here. Be really curious to find out. But as you guys have seen already firsthand, uh, Dotikris has spawned in the Redwoods. So <laughs> uh, it's going to be a little interesting flying through the Redwoods to try to find a tame, but uh, let's do our best and... See what we can find. Guys, I gotta say, this game is actually really funny sometimes because literally the first creature I look at is this dire bear right here. And sure enough, <laughs> it's a 150 male dire bear. Another thing I actually just noticed is this Dodicris. I have no idea what level this is. Let's have a quick look. Okay, so it's a level 20. But the reason I was bringing you guys back is because I noticed that 150 and I'm like, oh my God, okay, that's good. Let's keep it kind of in the back of our minds, right? And then I kind of went in this direction. I was a little bit worried about the trees over here because of uh, thylas and all that kind of stuff. And I don't think there's any thylas, but I noticed something down... Nope, it was over in this section. I noticed something over here. I actually noticed another dire bear and I believe it was a level na... What the hell is it? What are we doing? Uh, did I go a little bit further or no? Maybe I went a little bit further. Let's kind of keep going on this path. I did go a little bit further. Apologies. It's a little further down. But basically, I kind of continued down this path. And I'm like, nah, I'm not really seeing anything. So, all right, fine. Maybe maybe we just kind of have to uh, go a little bit deeper into the Redwoods. And the first thing I ended up noticing... No, oh, I'm not in the right spot. Where the hell? I was literally here two seconds ago. <laughs> oh, my God. 
Long story short, what I'm getting at, guys, is uh, there's a 145 Dodicarus somewhere over here. I don't know exactly where, uh, but oh, okay, there's the Dire Bear. So I noticed you because I'm like, oh, let's have a look. 90. And then I saw a Dodicarus right next to it. Where is the Dodicarus? It's a 145 female. Where are you? You were literally here two minutes ago. <laughs> what happened to you? Come on. So many of you are literally telling me right now. It's literally right in front of you. There it is. Boop. 145. <laughs> it does look a little bloody. Um, Unless that's just... Is it bloody or is it just the colors? Oh, no, it's bloody. Oh, boy. That's going to be a little interesting. Uh, we do have to get it back to base, uh, which is probably the worst thing in the world to say right now because we're literally in the middle of the Redwoods. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, yeah, let's see if we can do this. I just want to get it to safety, essentially. I don't know if... What if we tame it on our little perch over here? I mean, we got to carry it home at some point anyways, but I think it would be kind of cool. Uh, let's see if we can knock it out on this little perch. I de definitely have enough tranks and everything. It's kind of just a matter of getting this thing knocked out. Let's start with the trank arrow. Probably not the best idea. Let's just go with the... Yeah, let's go with this. Because, yeah, you do look a little bit bloody. I have a total of 96 measures, which is good. Let's see if we can do this. It's going to be kind of interesting. If you balled up... I thought you balled up a second ago. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, Why do I care switching to third person? Jesus. There we go. I know it's more of an action shot for you guys, but still. <laughs> yeah, the good news is the Dodicarus is so slow, so you can kind of just... chase him around. And usually you want to wait a couple of seconds between shots. I'm curious because it has a kid around. Is it getting like a parental buff or anything? Or is it just telling me, yep, there's a kid around? So free prime meat, you know? I don't want it to go off the cliff or anything. It's kind of interesting that the colors of this one are actually pretty close to the Anki. You know? It's like that army green. And like that cream slash I don't know what to call it all right once it starts running away from me though we do have to be a little bit careful I'll have to use the argent to kind of just oh my god I completely missed it But yeah, if it starts running away and it falls off the cliff, we'll just have to get the Argent and pick it back up. But as long as we don't fall off the cliff, we're good. <laughs> so we'll kind of just keep dancing around here. I know it's going to take a decent amount of these, especially with a primitive long neck. We really need to find something better. Are you running away? What are you doing? By the way, when you're going after no Dicrises, do not hit them in the shell. Um... It's a crazy amount of reduced damage. Really, I shouldn't even bother hitting it in the head. I really should be trying to go for the foot or the uh, underbelly or the tail. Not like the little bulb at the end, but the actual tail. Yeah, I don't know why this is happening. It's kind of weird how they're just... This happened with another creature. I can't remember. But that it kind of just stands still for a minute or two. It's kind of weird. I think it happened with the Alpha Raptor when we were taking it on in a previous episode. I don't know. Can't remember, but I wonder how many shots it's going to take. Jesus. Right, come on. It is kind of bloody, which is a bit concerning. Yeah, see? I hope that's not indicating that it's bowled up. Okay, no. Okay, good. Um... Kind of weird that it keeps losing aggro, but okay. Oh, 
All right, 20 minutes later. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy, honestly. Like, we're literally... Okay, is it actually running finally? No, it's still... Jesus. It's never going to stop. I think you might be running. Probably shouldn't pepper it as much as I am, but it's fine. Come on. Come on, knock out. Don't you ball up, please. That's fine. If you literally knock out right there, that's perfect. Come on. What are you doing? No, 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 no. What the hell? Why? Why are you coming after me again? Oh my god, I missed. On, almost there. I feel like we're almost there. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I'm going to be honest. Kind of hope it starts moving again. Because I'm worried this is a bug right now that it's actually balled up. But I also don't want to go near it. I mean, it's saying 26 damage. There we go. All right, awesome. Let's see if we got a perfect tame with this, though. That's going to be the concern because 100%. Perfect. Awesome. All right, had more than enough health left. It's at 2837 right now out of 6,120. That seems really good in the health department. Um, I am going to have to take a look, guys, and see, are we going to need to, like, feed this thing narco berries? Are we going to be able to just kind of leave it here? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, another thing I probably want to do is I probably want to look down below. Because <laughs> we know what seems to happen when we leave creatures and everything. They tend to just decide to mesh. So what would be... I mean, we do have the water there. That's the bit of the concern. But I feel like we would be okay. I feel like if we leave the area, we're going to be fine. Um, famous last words, of course. But... Before we leave the area, uh, I'm going to take a second, guys. I'm going to take a look at Dodo Dex. 145 Dodicra is pretty damn good, but let's see if we do have to come back or can we just kind of set it and forget it with some measure berries. All right, so we do have a bit of a problem. Uh, their Torpor drain rate is high, which means that, yes, we are going to need Narco Berries. Uh, we're going to need about 143. So the problem now becomes uh, we're going to have to race home <laughs> because I don't have any Narcos on me. So... Uh, let's quickly get home. Uh, let's go ahead, get some narco berries, bring it back to this guy, and then, yeah, we'll go from there. Hopefully, I don't get Thyla Pounce, because that would be really bad. So, guys, surprise, surprise, the Dodicarus mesh through the map, and as I mentioned in the Argentavis episode, I'm not necessarily going to penalize myself when these kind of things happen, especially when they're not my fault, so I am currently in ghost mode. As much as I don't like using cheats and stuff... I'm not, again, guys, I'm not going to penalize myself or anything like that. The funniest thing out of all this, I think, is the baby actually ended up finding its way to the 145 female, which I find absolutely hilarious. But the uh, Dodickers should be ready to go. I did go ahead and make a saddle back at base. I think it only needs about 72 measure berries, so we should be good to go. So we're just going to sit here for a little bit, and as we see, it's slowly but surely creeping up, and we'll have ourselves a Dodickers here in a minute or two. And 
And there we go. The female Dodicris is ours. And of course, I lost a couple of levels. Uh, it's at level 214 out of 217. That's totally fine. We'll go ahead, throw the saddle on this thing. Let's get this thing out of here first uh, before we go over stats. Now, of course, I am going to have to uh, kind of do a little bit of cheats here in order to get this thing out. So apologies, guys. But I think you guys understand. I think you guys would agree that it kind of stinks that this kind of stuff happens, right? All right, guys, and after using a few commands here and there, we have our brand new Dodicarus. And apologies for having to use the ghost command, guys, but, you know, it is what it is. It kind of stinks that we do have to do this in certain situations, and it's kind of concerning that this may not be a viable base location anymore. And that really stinks, because I really do like this spot, but if I'm going to have to constantly, when logging in, have to, like, get creatures out of mesh and stuff... It's definitely not worth it. But like I mentioned before, guys, if you have built in this location, and by the way, uh, we are at 82 latitude, 29.5 longitude. Uh, if you have built here before, uh, let me know. Have you run into that problem? Do you like this location? Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. Be really interested to get your feedback. But we have our brand new Dodicarus. And I got to say, the stats look pretty good on this thing. You guys can let me know in the comments, of course. But 6885 in health, which I see that right away. That seems really good. 1080 in stam 410 in weight and 336 melee seems like a pretty solid team it does have the cart feature which of course the card feature is from bob's toll tales i'm gonna be honest there's a lot of creatures that can use the bob's toll tales cart but i don't know in my mind there's only like a couple of creatures that i would be like yeah i could see that using the cart you know what i mean but unfortunately haven't come across any of those creatures yet but guys I don't know how long this episode is going to be. I know for me, it's been a little bit of a longer recording session for this one. It's taken a couple of days, actually, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, but guys, I am going to wrap up the episode here. We ended up getting ourselves a Castroides in this episode. We got ourselves a Dodicarus, so we are looking good for the utility teams. But guys, that is going to wrap up this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, take a second. Make sure to smash that like button. On top of that, if you guys are enjoying the series so far, you guys are excited to see more here on the center. Uh, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. But yeah, guys, if you checked out this base location, let me know what you think of it. I think it's pretty cool. Could be something coming in the future. Maybe like an outpost or something. But I'll see you guys in the next one.